Greetings psychology students. Today when we look at LTP, let's just be mindful about how this relates to the broader notion of synaptic plasticity. So when we talk about synaptic plasticity, we're looking at the brain's ability to change as a result of experience, both between the cells synaptically, but also the neuron itself, which we'll touch on a bit later. So when we explore the notion of LTP, I think it's fairly useful to break down the actual term, terms here. So when we look at potentiation, that's derived from the word potent, which means more powerful. So as a result of regularly revisiting a neural pathway that's responsible for a memory, we're making that memory trace more powerful, more durable, and easier to retrieve over time. So when we define LTP, there's three points of emphasis. Number one, it's relatively permanent. Number two, there's a strengthening of the connections. And number three, it occurs as a result of repeated activation of the neural pathway. So let's focus on what's going on in terms of LTP synaptically. So as a result of repeatedly activating the neural pathway responsible for a memory trace, and specifically we're talking about the presynaptic neuron on the left here, and we've got a postsynaptic cell on the right. Over time, we get a higher frequency, higher intensity input from the presynaptic cell. And therefore, over time, the postsynaptic cell becomes more receptive to that input. And that results in a strengthening of the relationship between these two cells. So what about the changes in the cell itself? Well, if we look at it postsynaptically, we get the sprouting of additional dendrites, and these additional dendrites have additional receptor sites. We also presynaptically have some more axonal branching, so sprouting of more axonal branching from the sending end of the neural pathway, and we've got sprouting of dendritic branches on the receiving end of the pathway. So not only do we have that sprouting effect from LTP, if we look at an individual dendritic spine, we have the formation of additional receptor sites as a result of the LTP mechanism, and that's on the postsynaptic end. And presynaptically, we're also releasing additional neurotransmitters. So all of these ingredients, more neurotransmitters, more receptors, dendritic branching, axonal appendage branching, um, a high frequency input from the presynaptic end, more receptive receptors on the postsynaptic end, all of these ingredients as a result of repeatedly activating the neural pathway will strengthen a memory trace, both within implicit memories in terms of procedural memory and also explicit memories.